Capone was written, directed, and edited by Josh Trank and stars Tom Hardy as Al Capone, and this film tells the story of his final year of life. After his release from prison, he spends one more year with his family in Florida. As his mind slowly deteriorates, he starts having visions, hallucinations, he can't control his bowels anymore. Basically, he's a shell of a human being. I was very intrigued to see this movie because I liked Josh Trank's first film, Chronicle, quite a bit. His second film, Fant Forstick, had basically no redeeming qualities whatsoever, but I was very excited to see him have a comeback. And I love Tom Hardy. When Tom Hardy is given the right role and he really sinks his teeth into that role and it's paired with a director who really understands what he's going for and is doing his best to achieve that vision, Tom Hardy's excellent. Unfortunately, I don't really think these elements coalesced to make a good film with Capone. I think the concept of this movie is really intriguing. Let's take one of the most notorious gangsters and criminals in history, Al Capone, and show you him at his worst, when he literally can't even remember who he is or any of the people around him, when he chews carrots instead of cigars, vomits and shits all over himself, and can't remember who his own wife is. Let's take that guy and show you him at his worst. Great concept, but unfortunately, the execution of that concept is extremely dull. I didn't find myself caring about much of anything that was going on, and it was difficult to understand what Trank was trying to communicate with this movie, because at times it does feel like a parody, but at other times it feels unintentionally hilarious. Tom Hardy's performance doesn't just swing for the fences. It swings for the next fucking continent. He is going so over the top that you can't even see him anymore. His voice is sort of like a combination of Nick Nolte and Warrior and Burgess Meredith as the Penguin. Yeah. Uh, I'm here. I... Oh, shit. I... I... Poop my pants. Uh, I don't know who I am. Oh, fuck. Uh, there are scenes where it definitely feels like Trank is going for humor, like a scene where Hardy and Matt Dillon are in a car together, and Hardy has decided to dress up like a woman, as Al Capone. Talking like this. So that's really funny. But as the movie begins to turn into a series of hallucinations and visions, he begins to imagine people that aren't there, and there are scenes that establish characters that are later revealed to be imagined. But the scenes that established the imagined characters were separate from Al Capone, took place somewhere else where Al Capone wasn't. We were introduced to a character, and this character is later revealed to be imaginary, so the film doesn't really have any rules for its scenes. It seems like anything could actually be in Capone's mind, even scenes where he's not present. And so it's really difficult to follow. And the editing, which again was done by Trank, is extremely bad. And it feels almost purposefully bad, like in a way to make you feel disoriented or make you feel like you have dementia or you're suffering from what Capone is suffering from. I understand this tactic. It's an interesting technique, but it feels almost like he edited the film poorly on purpose. It felt like quick cut editing, but for a dramatic film which was very off-putting, and I imagine that was probably his goal. And if that was his goal, he succeeded. But that doesn't mean that it necessarily worked for me. I think there are films that can make you feel strange, can make you feel very odd, or even a little upset, and those movies are, are kind of supposed to feel that way. For instance, when I watched the movie Detroit, I was mad, because it's a true life story, and it's horrible. And I was supposed to feel mad, and that anger felt justified. While watching Capone, I just felt uncomfortable, and, and it, it seemed to, to make me want to feel nauseous, but not in a way that felt earned or justified, in a very simple way. Like, look at this older man who's vomiting all over himself, who's shitting the bed, literally, who's imagining horrific, violent, gory scenarios that play out before our eyes in extreme, grotesque detail. Look at this man, and isn't that gross? Well, yeah, it is. But why should I care about that? Why should I care about this notorious murderer who's suffering from dementia? I just don't. I don't care about any of his visions, no matter how bizarre or strange they are. I do think this film has cult potential. I could see a lot of people rewatching this, especially just for Tom Hardy's insane performance. But there's a point in the movie where I have to ask myself, what is this about? What is this telling me? You know, what's the story? beyond the intriguing concept of let's look at this horrific criminal while he's suffering from dementia. And if Trank was going for comedy, I also don't necessarily appreciate that. 
I have had people in my life who have passed away who have suffered from dementia, and in no way is this a funny situation. It's horrible, it's depressing, it's horrific, and I just don't find it funny. And so there are scenes that go for funny, and I just felt uncomfortable by that. And that's going to be something that's probably subjective to the viewer, whether or not you've dealt with someone in your life who's had dementia. Probably watching this is going to be more disturbing than funny because it's going to remind you of some really horrible memories. The other issue I have with the movie is that character motivation doesn't seem important at all for really anyone. Most characters in this movie are just dealing with the fact that Capone has lost his mind. Capone obviously has no motivation. There's a, a slight little suggestion that he has hidden money somewhere and people are trying to find out where this money is. Some of the characters in the movie need to find out where that money is, otherwise there's going to be dire consequences for them legally. The law is also involved in the movie. People are spying on Capone, trying to find out where that money is, see if he's still in any way involved in his criminal empire, and those characters seem to also have stakes in their lives on whether or not they can find this information out. You cut back and forth sometimes with one of the agents who goes to his superiors, and his superiors are like, look, this is your last chance. You're gonna have to find something out pretty soon, or we're just gonna forget about this because I don't give a shit about Capone, he's old. And nothing really happens with that storyline either. Storylines are just sort of tossed out the window. So while I respect what the movie is trying to do, and I certainly respect Trank as a filmmaker, none of it really worked for me. I found this to be a very disappointing movie with a somewhat unintentionally hilarious performance from Tom Hardy. I'm gonna give Capone a C minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. This movie hit VOD today, so it is available on Amazon and other services for you to rent and check out if you want to see it. Thank you guys as always, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.